old guys back here like checking me out of like what are you doing or something. I don't care. <laughs> What up YouTube, so today is my vlog for my trip to Jeonju. I wanted to share about this service that I found online. Yeah, I'm doing like a little job out in Jeonju for a summer camp and uh, this bus is free. You can go from Seoul to Jeonju. It's like a three hour bus ride down south of Seoul. So it's very traditional area for people to visit and it's um, very, very nice. Now this promotion is only for foreigners who have foreign passports. And so if you have a foreign passport, not a Korean passport, then you can go. But hey, it's free. It's a free trip. It's like seven to twelve dollars one way to go there. And uh, maybe even more, I don't know. It's only for a short time. It's only for the end of December. So you gotta check the link. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below and check it out it's free for all foreigners you can only go on weekends so it'll be friday saturday sunday and they only leave early in the morning at 8 a.m so you have to be there at 8 a.m um, make sure to make your online reservation at least a week before you go out so they can send you a confirmation actually i i made my reservation but i didn't get a confirmation i made my reservation on friday and i left sunday they say you have to do it like three days before but I did it you know I guess that's three days before but that's like cutting it very close and so I didn't get a confirmation but I just showed up with my passport and everything I looked very touristy and so they're like oh yeah just come in you know whatever so make sure you try to check it out I mean uh, for now I, I, I mean I, I highly recommend it because it's free and also the seats are very comfortable and it's a f I, I'm repeating this over and over it's a free 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 bus to go to Jeonju so check it out so I'm gonna be vlogging all day today um, hopefully uh, I get to try some bibimbap while I'm in Jeonju I'm gonna be there for like about a couple weeks so I'll be doing a lot of vlogs we're gonna do uh, summer camp with the kids and meeting the kids and um, it's gonna be fun so I made it out to Jeonju it was a very fast trip actually it took exactly three hours it didn't take longer didn't take less there was no traffic maybe it's just because it was on a sunday i don't know here's jeonju it's very nice there's the street on this side and i really like this countryside i think these old guys back here are like checking me out of like what are you doing or something i don't care i think we're gonna go to that bridge over there if you can see that so i got some time to kill and i'm just walking in the streets and i gotta say it's a pretty cute place like it's very um I don't know, you can tell it's a very small, cute, a little more, it's like a little more what I feel like Asia would be like if, if it was, if I was going to Asia, not like the big city in Seoul. So, yeah, I mean, I really like the, the little water thing they got going, look, this water thing. Uh, I just want to jump in if I wasn't dressed like this, I would totally jump in. These look a little more... Hawaiian than Asian. Jeonju is very famous for bibimbap. You know, I heard it's really famous for bibimbap. So I need to try some bibimbap. It's funny, it's like traditional old school wear and he's like holding a selfie stick and taking selfies. So just for my few, I guess, minutes walking, oh, segue, a few minutes walking around in this area, I noticed that this is more of a tourist place for Koreans, you know, not many foreigners go out. So I think that's why the bus is free from Seoul to Jeonju, because not many foreigners are here. There are a few because, you know, you know they, they're probably the foreigners who know how to get around, but Usually when you come to Seoul, I mean, when you come to Korea, all you do is just stay in Seoul if, if you're a tourist. And Jeonju, it's a very touristy place actually, but not many foreigners, mostly just Koreans. 
Which is good, you know, Koreans need a place to go. Get away from their city life. Or even if they're coming from other places, I don't know. But just look down this street here. Yeah, check it out. So I'm in the middle of the crossway where every everybody's like crossing and there's so much people here. It's it's cool. I like these flags. Let's take a picture. Or I need a thumbnail. Thumbnail. So many people here. A lot of people are waiting in line here because it's the uh, like a famous choco pie, like homemade like choco pie. Look at that. Got like slushies right there. You know, like what you get at 7-Eleven. There's a very, very different stuff that you can find here, not that you can find in Seoul. They got chicken sticks, I was just saying. You can find this in Seoul too, these ice cream places. You know, that's, that's typical, but a lot of people are in line for over there. Let me show, let me show you. Back, I don't know what. I don't know what they're getting over there. Look at this lady, the humble, humble. I wonder if she'll turn around, maybe I can get her to smile. Nope. Ah. Right now it smells like barbecue. A lot of uh, good smelling barbecue stuff. Old school wear. A lot of people wearing old school wear. Wow, the grudge girl is here. She's very scary. Oh, you're a boy. I think she's a boy. Are you a man? Yes. Oh, hi. You look very scary. Thank you. Is this traditional or is this for a scare? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. I understand. Is it traditional or is it scary looking? Are you supposed to be scary looking or traditional looking? Uh, Korean, original. Traditional. Okay. Oh. Well, you look so scary. Thank you. <laughs> you saying thank you? Yes. Look like the garage girl. Yeah. <laughs> the guy was hilarious. I don't know if you knew, understand what I was saying. Look at this tree. That guy looked pretty scary, but like at first I thought it was a girl, and then he's like, "Hi, I'm a guy," and he's like. Oh, this is traditional. Oh, I want to like get a whole group of like people wearing hanbok. Oh, biker! People wearing hanbok and like take a picture with them. I think that would be funny. Oh, I had a whiff of smell like I felt like I went back to the PCC in Hawaii. Like a smell of tourists. Look at these flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Oh. I'm passing by this uh, palace. Um. Jongdi-jong palace. I'm not gonna go in, I'm just taking a picture from the outside because I ain't got no time for that one day. I like that stuff. I wish I could just buy them all and put them in my house. Check this place out. This is the the church. I was reading here in my map. Um, according to this, the Sangria. I don't know. It's like uh, it was it was created by like four different types of Christian churches, and not Christian. There was like a Buddhist too. So four just four religious groups. Oh, let's take a selfie with these girls. They're selfie, and I selfie with them. I made it to Rio de Janeiro! It's actually small, really, really small. A lot of people out here taking pictures. Still got some time to kill. I'm gonna try some Jonju Bibimbap, my first meal in Jonju. It's this restaurant right across the church or temple or castle, whatever you wanna call it. It's probably a tourist trap. It's $10, you know, and in uh, Seoul, you can buy any kind of bibimbap for uh, what five or four dollars, even even three sometimes. But they're really crappy and small. But this is the place, the mecca of bibimbap. So I will try it. Let's go in. 
So this is the map of where actually I've been walking around. This is Hanok Village, and I think I even went up here. This area. I think here's the that big church that I was just at. Oh, this is the baby pop. It came. It looks so good. Look at that. Just the egg. Yolk, meat, vegetables, all kinds of good stuff. And I got a whole bunch of sides. Actually, the $10 is actually pretty worth it. This is like very high quality bibimbap, and you get like amazing size. You get like, I don't even know what any of these things are, but I just eat, I just eat it all. Yeah. Looks so good. Or you didn't but knows out there how to eat it. You know you gotta mix it all up. I did. And here's my first bite. Jelly, kimchi, um, spicy, and crunchy. This is white, white kimchi. Same spicy and crunchy. Not as spicy though. And you got some salad. Uh, sweet and creamy. We got some uh, chop day. Um, chewy noodles, you know. Bimbap. That's how you gotta eat it. You gotta... When I went back to Hawaii, I couldn't eat just some meat and rice. I needed like kimchi or something. And so that's what I did. I opened a bottle of kimchi and I ate it. So I just made it to the camp. I'm in the university. We're at Usak University. Usak. Sounds like you suck. Let's come here to Usak University. Like a dormitory room. This is my room here. It's pretty cool. It's like I feel like I'm back at my school. Like they give me you know, they're one they're they're for two people in the university, but they're giving it for only one teacher each. So you get that. That's pretty cool. Room has their bathroom. You get your own bathroom. You get clothes dryer. You get two desks. And that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much all you do need. Nice view. Crops of, what is it? Rice, maybe? Rice. It's pretty dirty. Look up here, you see a lot of bugs and stuff. Three weeks, let's tough it out, you know? You know what I mean? Alright, so I'm back in my apartment. It's like nighttime now, and uh, I had a long day. We did a lot of training, a lot of video watching, a lot of introductions, and a lot of meet and greets and everything. And so, so I'm done with the first day, and um, it's mm, it was not too bad actually. To to be honest, they they seem very professional. You know, there's going to be like a curriculum and everything you need to teach and there's going to be meetings every day. So this uh, camp is pretty cool. They're going to like provide you with the meals every day, like breakfast, lunch and dinner. I got an apartment, not apartment, a, a dormitory that is fit for two people. I don't understand how two people can fit in here, but only one person for me is in here. We got our own bathroom, which is cool. It's not shared. So that wraps up my day today and if you guys like this video, if you guys want me to make more, please give me a like, thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Peace!